Hi friends, if you're watching this video, that means you could use a little extra help with today's personal math trainer. So I'm gonna go through a few problems uh, to help you along and yeah, hopefully this will be some use to you. So we're looking at this first picture and it's basically asking us, well, what's the area of this thing? So as always, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'm just gonna ask you kind of like, you know, well, first there are 12 unit squares, right? We counted them all and it's the same thing. The area is 12 square centimeters. They're the same, whatever your figure looks like, just keep that in mind. These two things should match, okay? So there we go. This, um, a quick shortcut I can kind of show you. If you got a figure like this, check this out. Instead of counting every single one, let's bring back some multiplication here. So we got, one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. So, excuse me, I put the sneeze. Um, a quick way to do that is just multiply rows by columns, which we've done this year quite a few times. So if you multiply them both, instead of counting every single square, if that's what you'd rather do, go for it, but still save you so much more time. You can do row by column, multiply them both, and boom, there's your answer. Okay, I am not going to do this one because you can just count the squares and calculate yourself. This you can do, same thing, count the squares. Count the squares. This one is interesting. I won't demonstrate the whole thing because I kind of want you guys to figure it out, but basically what it's asking you is, it's kind of a sub subtraction problem. First, what I want you to do is count how many tiles there are total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then it's trying to, It's what it's asking you is, how many more, you know, tiles are painted than not? So what we got to focus on here is how many are not. Once you figure that out, you will subtract and then you'll get your own answer from there. Okay. Your problem might be different. It might be more squares, might be less, but whatever it is, Right, whatever you subtract the total from the two from the squares that are missing, and then you will get your answer, which should go right here. Okay, I don't want to give you guys too much, too many answers, you know. So that's how you do that one. Now we're gonna move on. There's one more thing I kind of want to go over in this tutorial. This one, which is a huge pain in the butt. But let me break it down for you guys, okay? So it's, again, this would probably be more of a challenge question if you were in class. So here's what this thing is asking. Uh, it took me, you know, a second to get this. So right now what we're doing is we're trying to measure the area of a tabletop. Think of like uh, on a patio outside when it's like a bunch of like stone kind of bricks and stuff. So think of that. We're trying to make like our own stone patio, right? Now, what it's asking us is this. Which square unit will give you a greater number of square units? Which means if I'm making that patio outside my room or if I'm trying to like, you know, lay down a bunch of bricks on the floor, which one of these will I have to use more of to do the same job? What you think I'll use more of the blue ones or more of the green ones? If I'm trying to cover the same amount of space, which one would I use more of? So the blank unit square will give you a greater number of square units for the area. So again, this is the same question I was asking. Which one would you have to use more of if you had to cover you know, a floor or a patio outside? In my opinion, it would be the green one. The blue one covers the most ground, but this is the confusing thing about this question. They're not asking about which one covers the most ground. They're asking you which ones would you have to use more of? So the answer for this one is green. 
And then the blue square units are larger than the green squares, which means they take up, let's see, blue, hold on. it takes up blank blue square units than green square units. So it takes less blue than green to cover the same area. It's confusing. Don't lose sleep over it. This is a weird one and I don't really like it, but there you go.